Good evening. Welcome to another edition of So in the Bourbon. Charlie, tell them what we're doing tonight. Tonight we have two barrel strength offerings from Penelope Bourbon, the Private Select 9 here, and their barrel strength. Okay, so Penelope barrel strength. So we have two, well, one in front of us right the second. This is the nine year private select, correct? Highly sought after. So the nine year is a somewhat newish release and people have been running around like, hey, do you have the Penelope nine year? Do you have the Penelope nine year? What I didn't know and what I learned is every one of these nine years is a different batch and they're all a little unique because it's Penelope. Okay, so it's not a single barrel. It's not a single barrel. Is a small batch. This particular private select is a blend of three four grain bourbon mash bills, corn, wheat, rye, malt, barley, obviously. Every private select is comprised of a different blend. All barrels used in the program are hand selected. This particular offering is nine years old, uses number four staves, number two heads. The mash bill is 85% corn, 10% rye, 2% wheat, and 3% barley malt. It's so an interesting mash bill. It is an interesting mash bill. So it's it should be that. very bourbony mm -hmm. as opposed to weedy and rye. So I'm kind of anxious to try this one. It's yep. not, a, not a mash bill that I, I know that I don't know if I've ever had a mash yep. bill and, like that. And before. we were discussing this before the episode. So we previously did Penelope Architect, mm -hmm. which was very good. very good. We enjoyed it and you can find that episode on our on our channel. What I love about Penelope is they make things very easy for us because when we're doing research and we're trying to find mash bills and who's distilling what, it's all on their website. It's all on their right on bottle. The the bottle. On the back of the bottle, it says a blended mash bill and it has the mash bill. It has the age, it has that it's a four grain. It tells you where their bourbon is from. It's from Indiana, which means? MGP. And from Kentucky, which means? Barkstown Bourbon. Because it's on their website. So transparency, education, I love it. Cannot wait, very excited. What's the price on this bottle? Do you know? You know, I don't. I do not know. This bottle was graciously donated to us by Aaron, and I do not know how much he paid for it. I, I'm i uh, not I'll, sure. I'll look that up. And you I'll, know what he's going to do? I'll he's going to do that in. edit Put thing. Right, right down here. Right down here at the bottom. All right. All right, let's get into this. Let's do it. Nice color. Mm hmm. Pretty dark for. What is this? 109? 109 proof? One, 109 yeah. proof. And this is batch 23-202, for those of you wondering. Not super viscous, it puts no. a little ring at the top, but somewhat light moving no, in the glass. No, it doesn't really have any legs, does it? Hmm. A lot of sweet corn. Yeah. A little bit of caramel. 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 There's something else there Yeah. that's... There's something, well, I think it's the wheat. Is that what I'm getting? Yep. It's only 2% wheat though. Could it be that sure. strong? Well, I think I do think though, anytime you introduce wheat into the mash bill, it does Mellow kinda, it out a little bit. Yeah. All right. I don't know, I don't really have a whole lot of- Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind out. of classic bourbon. Yeah. Nothing too crazy, nothing too intense. My nose is a little dead tonight anyway. It's a little, little, uh, a little ethanol on it, but not nothing too. Not crazy. a ton. Let's drink this Let's thing. See if it's it. any good. I really like that, man. So the nose kind of carries through. Um, it, it tastes like it smells. Kind of mm -hmm. that classic bourbon, dark chocolate, oak. Um, a lot of oak. A lot of oak. I mean, it's really oaky, but it's not a super dry, like it's not drying my palate out. It's just that oaky heaviness, that flavor just kind of sits on my palate. Are you getting a lot more spice than what you would expect for just a 10%? Not a, not a ton. Let me drink it again. I Let's am. see. I feel like it drinks a little bit more like a higher rye than, it, than what it is. No, I'm not really getting that, which is interesting. I just get a really nice, Oaky. I'm not getting a lot of caramel. 
Now, I get a lot of dark chocolate, a little dried fruit. Yeah. Uh, maybe if there's, if it's not very sweet, I will tell you that. It's not that sweet at all. It's not that sweet. You do get some of the, like the lighter fruit flavors, mm -hmm. but not, not that really sweet, sweet yeah. flavor. This is not a, a sweet bourbon. Mm -hmm. I would not have guessed this would be a nine year. I would have guessed this would have been something if you would have blinded me, I'd be like, man, that's, little that's got a little oak, yeah. little oak to it. It's, there's a lot of oak there. A lot of oak character, but it, not in a bad way. Yeah, it's not unpleasant. It, it, it's, it's not that oak that kind of dries your mouth like, where you like you pucker up mm -hmm. and it's unpleasant. It's actually the opposite. It kind of makes me want to drink it a little more, like have another drink. Yeah, I, I like it. It's different. It's, it's different than many barrel yeah. strength. Bourbons it, I've had. It doesn't drink like 109. I will tell you that. It's an easy sipper. I get no Kentucky hug. I get, no, there's no unpleasant or alcohol or ethanol burn when it's in your mouth. It, it's a very smooth, easy sipper. It is. That, it, and maybe it's just me. I get a lot of spice on it, a lot of pepper. That's a lot crazy. Of spice, that, that's crazy because that's the one character it's I. It's not hot. Yeah, I don't get any of that. I, I just get a lot of like kind of oaky. And on an 85% corn mash bill, you would assume that you would get some kind of corn sweetness from it. You think you'd get a lot more of an, uh, caramel. Mm -hmm. And know, and I don't. Sweet caramel. And I don't. Sweet and corn. That's interesting to me because that that is when people search out, you know, 15, 17 and older bourbons, this is the kind of character that they want out of mm -hmm. it. Um, I think this is very good. Um, what did we recently do that was older that we really liked? Um, Gosh darn many. it. Um, we've done the Baker's 13. The Baker's 13. Yeah. This reminds me, Not a, it, it's not, I'm not saying that it's the same, but I'm saying from a, from a drinkability and what you want out of a 13 year old bourbon, this is it. Th this is, I get a lot of that same kind of oaky character. I don't think it's quite as sweet and complex yeah. as the Baker's 13, but that's a pretty, pretty decent small batch. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with you. I, don't, I wouldn't, I think they're two very different flavor profiles, um, but it's, it's a good, it's a good, I like good it. bottle. So this is obviously, anytime you put an age statement on a bottle of bourbon in 2023, everybody loses their mind. So this is somewhat hard to find. Um, I'm not for sure about the availability and the release, but people are finding them and they're getting bought and they're gone. So the one alternative, if you're like, oh, that's great, Glenn and Charlie got another hard to find bottle, what a bunch of jerks. What you can find if your local liquor store, grocery store, whoever, is the plain old barrel strength. Glenn, do you want to tell them about Penelope Barrel Strength? Absolutely. So once again, it's another blend of three different four grain mash bills. Uh, this particular bottle is 115.2 proof. Mm -hmm. Char four barrels. It is four to six years old. Four to six year old, yep. years old. Number four staves, number two heads. 74% corn, 16 wheat, 7% rye. My gosh, Charlotte. And 3% malted barley. Really excited about that. <laughs> I'm having some issues tonight. 16% wheat. <laughs> so, um, again, four to six this, years old. So this is a totally different. To totally, totally different, different animal, animal, but barrel strength. So the nine year is not called nine year. It's called private select. This is barrel strength. Oh, that was, it was kind of a sad little pop. And... What's retail on this bottle, Glenn? I don't remember. Yay! The highest level of Sorry. professionalism. Once again, we will edit. Usually I do a really good job of... of I didn't pour you, but would you like a little more? Sure. Oh, okay. There you go, Glenn. Thank you. You're welcome. So what we're, what we're aiming to find out here is, is this a good viable option? Well, our I'll, alternative, if you can't find a nine year. I will tell you this. It's a beautiful bottle. It is I mean, it's bottle. gorgeous. Everything, the label, the, the etching, the, the flowers that are etched on there, it is, it is beautiful. Um, and four grain is becoming more popular, but it's still somewhat unique to find a four grain bourbon. Yeah, and about Penelope and their bottles, they, they, they kind of remind me of a wine. 
Yeah. Like just the name Penelope, yep. it just sounds like a wine brand, doesn't it? Lighter color yeah, much than lighter. the nine year, but four to six as opposed to nine year. Yeah, you notice that right away. Right so away, much even with the is. bottles sitting next Still to each other. Decent. Yeah, it puts a little ring in it. Yeah, a little bit. A lot more complexity in that mm -hmm. nose. I agree. Just a tad more ethanol, not not overpowering, but you definitely smell. You definitely that one fifteen. Definitely get that extra wheat. I'm not getting a ton of wheat funk, which is good. I, I feel like I smell it, but it may be just in my head. I get sweet corn and I get like a floral note. There is a floral like note. A, like mm -hmm. a fruity floral, like it, it has a really pleasant, almost like, it's gonna sound weird, like a perfume aroma. Mm -hmm. like, a, like an aroma you're like, man, that really shouldn't be in there, but I'm not mad about it. It's got a really unique nose and that's, been really surprised with the Penelope's that we've done. They are surprising, always. Cheers. Cheers. I'll just leave it at that. Penelope. Well, that's not right. Drinks a little bit hotter. Than the nine year, than the nine year, yeah, a little bit more ethanol is what I'm saying. You mean on the palate? Yeah. Okay. Because um, I was gonna say I don't think this drink's hot at no, all. No, I didn't say hot. I said hotter. Hot. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. We're on the same page. I'm a, I'm in agreement. I don't get that overwhelming barrel. Mm -hmm. The oak on it. I feel like this is much more complex as far as flavors other yeah. than oak. Yep, I, I can taste, I can definitely taste the corn. Mm -hmm. I feel like on the finish, I can taste the wheat. It, it, it that kind of funkiness uh, of the wheat, that kind of sweet and funky, mm -hmm. I taste that on the finish. I get a lot more of the spiciness you were describing, that mm -hmm. kind of tingle, I can feel it on the sides of my tongue and even on my gums, I get a nice little tingle from the rye, which is only 7% rye. That's, yeah, that's... But I love bourbons and whiskeys that you can taste the mash bill and you can, you can taste flavors. I get almost no oak in this. Like it's, it's mm -hmm. very um, sweet and fruity and spicy. And it is a, this is a dangerous bottle because it does not drink like 115 proof at all. No, it's it it's it's enough to let you know you're drinking correct a barrel proof. But it's not like you said it, it's it's dangerous. Yeah, and it's, it's a crushable bottle. And I will. People are probably gonna kill me for this, but I think I would prefer this over the nine year. Um, I feel like the nine year for me would be a mood bourbon. Mm -hmm. If I'm in the mm -hmm. mood for, you know what? I just want something. An oak bomb. I just want something oaky and intense. Then I would reach for that. My mood 85% of the time is going to be something like this. I really enjoy that. And, um, you know, again, Penelope, Kudos. surprising. Kudos yep. to them. They're putting out some really good stuff. So... Yeah, it's got a nice finish on it too. It's it's hanging hanging it, in there. It really is a long lingering, mm -hmm. and the oak. I said you don't get any Getting oak. A little bit of oak now after on, it on sits yep. for like four. What have we been talking? Thirty seconds or whatever. It's, now it's like yeah. oh yeah, there is a little oak. But there. it's more so the oak on the finish of this is more of a nice semi sweet chocolate. Yep. Whereas I felt like this is just this was oak. just oak yep. bitter oak. Yep. Not unpleasant. I wouldn't say bitter, but, but it, it's definitely, well, you know what? Bitter dark chocolate bitter, oak. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll go with that. Yeah. Two completely different animals. Yes. 100%. Different like, mash bills. Different, different mash ages. bills, different ages, different, we don't know what the blends are. Mm -hmm. One could be 100% MGP, one could be, uh, you, you just don't know, but 
I love the I love everything Penelope is doing in the age of where we're we're really starting to see a lot more mystery bourbons. Mm-hmm. And we just did an episode on a mystery bourbon. You should watch it. I love the fact that Penelope's out here being like, look, we're going to be transparent. We're going to show you what we've got and where we're getting it from and what's in the bottle so you can kind of tailor make that. And I think that's the whole point of the Architect series that they did Yeah, is you can look at that label and be like, oh, I should like this. Love everything that they're doing. Yeah, I, I, I love everything I've tried from Penelope so far. Um, rate them. Oh. Ba-bam! Okay. Let's go. Well, we'll, well it's we'll going to be wa- hard because I, I can't remember the price on either one of these. Um, I want to say this was in the 50 That sounds right to me. Range. I want to say the MSRP on this is in the $69 to $89 range. Okay. It's somewhere between 50 American dollars and 1,000 American dollars. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> yeah. in there. Let's take the price out okay. uh, and let's, let's just rate the- it. Or organically, our sophisticated rating system, as Glenn likes to say. Which one do you want to do first? Let's both do the private select. Okay, you go. Um, this is a mood bourbon for me. My least favorite character in bourbon is oak. I really have to be in the mood for it. I will give this a 6.875 unless I'm in the mood for oak, and then I would go higher like a 7.5. Six point. What are you giving it? 6.875. 6.875. Unless Thank I'm you. in the mood for oak. And then I would get... No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I will... Oh, man. It's tough. You can be honest. I am being honest. Thank I... 6.8. It's, it's good. It's not super memorable. It's outside of your flavor profile that you enjoy? I, I won't even say that. I don't not enjoy it. It's just hmm. oaky. It's oaky. I get it. What I like. Not a lot. I don't feel like there's a lot other going on there except spice and oak. I will tell you, the viewers, is now I am on a mission to find a different batch of nine year that has a different mash bill mm-hmm. that I can compare this to because I'm dying to see if there is a difference in them. And I, that would be a really fun comparison. So I am on a mission to find another batch. Barrel strength. Barrel strength, I will give that a solid 7.25. I will give that a solid seven. I like that. I didn't like it as much as the Architect, although I don't remember what I rated the Architect as. (laughs) Uh, I think maybe a seven and a half. Yeah, seven, 7.125. Seven, it's a seven. They are both good. They are both, if you can find them at retail, I would definitely recommend getting both of them, especially if you like older aged oaky bourbons, this is gonna be in your wheelhouse. 100%. Charlie? Glenn? Tell them what to do. You've gotta smash that subscribe button, people. S- subscribe to the YouTube so you get more Penelope content, because that's what you're here for. Check us out on the socials, So in a Bourbon on Facebook, Instagram, Whiskey Realtor on TikTok, and as always, keep your wallets loose. And your dang bungholes tight. Good night, everybody. Peace out. Covered Bridge Real Estate Update. Are you curious about real estate activity in our neighborhood? Then call me, Glenn Hawksmith, Shula Bauer, glennhawksmith.com or shulabauer.com. You didn't like that, did you? No, it's good. Good, shut up. Don't lick your fingers. Too late. Good evening, welcome to another... (laughs) What? The in, I let the intrusive thoughts win because I went and then you started talking and I literally saw myself going when you were like, good evening, welcome to Soda Bourbon. I was going to go, <laughs> Notre Dame win yesterday? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, y'all got you a nice little team. Ready? Three, two, one. Action. <laughs> Dead, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah.